Armor Freight is having a Spring Black Friday sale next week from April 10, 2023 for Inside Track members and open to everyone else on April 14th. The prices for my must-have items are the lowest I've seen so far this year. If you're looking for ideas on what to buy during the sale or just want to have some confidence before committing, I'll show you my top 10 picks. The items I picked are all items that I personally own. Welcome and welcome back to Meta Loop. Let's get into this. First up at number 10 is McGraw's three gallon air compressor, both the pancake and hot dog version, as you see here. These air compressors are perfect for having an air gun, which is all that I wanted to use it for. I don't need a bigger compressor because I plan on using battery powered tools for everything else. This McGraw unit does take about three to four minutes to fully pressurize and you get about a minute of air before the compressor kicks back on. And that leads to the biggest problem for this unit. It's very loud, like embarrassingly loud. When you're using it, since its tank is so small, the chances are good that it will be running loudly in the background while you're trying to do anything. But for $49.99, it's definitely a good deal. There's definitely not a lot of air compressors at this price point to fill that air gun niche that I'm looking for. Another thing to note is that the compressor doesn't come with any accessories. I can see how that could be bad. For me, it was good because it let me make sure I got the exact kind of air gun and hose I wanted and the compressor pairs really well with the next item, which is... And number nine, safety glasses. Eye protection is super important, but if you're like me, you can't be bothered finding your glasses unless there is a pair right where you are. At only a dollar each, I bought a handful of each style. All the styles are on sale, so you can get clear yellow ones, like the ones I have here, or the dark tinted ones if you really like that cheap sunglasses look. I keep these glasses everywhere, on the shelf, in the tool bag, on the work table. It's the only way to make sure that I wear them. And since they're so cheap, I don't feel bad if I lose them or get them scratched up. The clarity isn't great, but even expensive safety glasses will eventually get scuffed up. It's never going to be clear like glass, and you're trading some blurriness for protecting your eyes from harm. But if you do need to wipe down your glasses, my pick for number 8 should help. And number eight, microfiber cleaning cloths. These Harbor Freight staples can be picked up for $4 during the spring sale. I use these cloths to clean windows and to wipe up the piano black smudges inside of the car. They come in all sorts of different colors and they're fun. I'm not quite sure I would use them to wash or wax a car with, but at 25 cents each, I definitely consider using them to wipe rims or clean up my tools. These cloths are just handy to have around. And speaking of car washes, that brings up my next pick at number seven. Portland 1750 PSI pressure washer. I did a full review of this pressure washer and thought it was a great buy at full price. During this sale, it's at $69.99 and I paid a little over $80 personally. It's definitely at or near the lowest price you can buy this pressure washer for. I've done a full first impression video of this and besides the sample shots that you're seeing here, you can watch that full video in the pop-up link in the top right. It's downright steamy. And speaking of heat, that brings up my next item at number six. At number six, the Warrior 1500 watt heat gun. A heat gun is one of those items where you don't realize how often you use it until you have it. I've been using mine mostly to remove vinyl stickers off of cars, but I'm working on resealing a headlight as well. The heat gun is great to soften the sealant around the lens of the housing so that I can pull it apart, clean it out, and reseal it. I'm also looking forward to using it to bend PVC piping for various craft projects. At 10 bucks, I think it doesn't hurt to keep it in a drawer. Now that we're halfway through my picks for Harbor Freight's Spring Black Friday sale, now seems like a good time to ask you to subscribe and like this video. I make content like this every Friday, so if you like checking out tools or seeing them in action in DIY car videos, I hope you'll join me each and every week. Let's keep going with number five. And at the fifth slot, these mini picks. I love these and I will probably pick up another set or two, especially at 99 cents a set. Just like with the safety glasses, these are great just to have lying around. I do have more expensive Matco and gear wrench picks, but I haven't been in a situation where more heavy duty picks were needed to accomplish the task. And believe it or not, these orange handles really help you find them when you drop them. And speaking of things I drop, at number four is one that I drop in Ninja Bays all the time. These Pittsburgh half inch impact socket sets. I picked these up as my just in case set to supplement other impact socket sets I own. I like how both the SAE and metric sets cover our breadth of sizes, especially on the larger side. Specifically for the metric set, I've already gotten my money's worth on the 22, the 24, the 27 and the 32 millimeter socket. Did you know that a Civic Type R requires a 22 millimeter socket for its lug nuts? I didn't. My nylon sleeve set 
only covers 17, 19, and 21 millimeters. And it was more expensive for those three sockets than the whole metric set here. The metric set and the SAE set only cost $19.99 each during the spring sale. Definitely worth having around. And now we're getting into my top three. So let me illuminate you on my third pick. At number three, bronze 500 lumen work light. Okay, so neither of these items are the 500 lumen work light. This is the 390 lumen one and this is a 750 lumen floodlight but i just really wanted to showcase that i really like the bronze lights and i would totally pick up the 500 lumen one i bought this 390 lumen bronze light for the same 1999 that the 500 lumen one is on sale at 1999. it seems like a worthy upgrade from this one to have more lumens and the ability to fold in on itself you'll see that the 390 only folds 90 degrees and the 500 lumen one actually folds all the way in on itself from all my experiences so far, you can never have too much light when you're working on a car. So for me, having two versions of these lights could really work out. I love that they have magnets on the base as well, and you can stick them and angle them in almost any direction when you're working underneath the car or in the engine bay. And another must-have item is my number two pick. And at number two, these Daytona three-ton heavy-duty jack stands. At $29.99 during this Harbor Freight sale, these jacks are totally worth it. And by the way, these jack pads that you see up here are a separate purchase. They're only like five or six bucks. At this price, now is the perfect time to pick up a set of four to fully lift up your car using jack stands. These jack stands are the improved ones that have the safety pin. Unfortunately for a complimenting jack, the only jack on sale is a snap-on competing three-ton low-profile Super Duty jack. I heard it's good, but I don't personally own it, which is why it's not on my top 10 list. But what I do own is the item that I think is the main reason to go take a trip to Harbor Freight next week. Add number one, Pittsburgh's click type torque wrenches in all three sizes. Look, we can all tighten by feel or full send an impact wrench for every bolt on a car, but given the amount of stuff these days that's made out of plastic or lightweight aluminum, not over tightening, but still being confident that the bolt is secured is something that a torque wrench really helps with. At $11.99 each, discounted from almost $20, it's never been more affordable to have a full set that can cover all torque ranges from 5 to 150 foot-pounds. Are they accurate? Yeah, they're pretty accurate. Even in the instructions here, you'll see that there's an inspection receipt where they actually tested everything. So this half-inch torque wrench here, for 30 foot-pounds, it does 30.1, and 90 foot-pounds, it does 90.6. And at 150 foot pounds, it does 150.4. That's pretty accurate. That's something for 12 bucks, I think I can get behind. Sure, maybe it's not accurate to the degree that a more expensive beam or angle torque wrench might be, but if you're building something that would require hardware like torque to yield bolts, you saved a bunch of money on these plain old torque wrenches to buy something nicer from Icon in the future. And that's it. I hope this video helped you make a decision on what you want to buy next week at Harbor Freight. If you do end up buying something on this list, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Or if you want some ideas on how to use the tools in this video, I have DIY guides like this 68K service on a Mini Cooper or this oil change guide on a GMC Terrain. I'm Alan, and this is Metalube. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.